Hello and welcome back to Fur Fighters. Uh, today we are going to go to the favourite level of mine in this entire game. So, let's crack on with it. I would like to wish absolutely everyone today the happiest and spookiest of Halloweens. Uh, today is going to be... I'm going to call it a Halloween special. It's just a bog standard episode of Fur Fighters. But it's absolutely perfect because it coincides with the um, place that I'm going to be going. So it's really good. Okay, so out here, when I said sweeping wilds last time, I meant it. You are fighting against winds uh, of extreme gales. Which can push you along if you are not careful. So uh, do your best not to get munched like that guy back there. <laughs> oh. Now, don't panic. Uh, as I've said before, if I don't get all the tokens in this level, I will come back, but I can't until I finish the next one, because you can't leave it until you finish it, basically. Death to you! Okay, so we need to find Rufus. At us. At us. Ah, that'll teach you. Just checking that there isn't any more tokens out here, because it's highly likely that there is and I missed them. Usually the case. Very much usually the case. Uh, oop. That's probably Rufus. I didn't see any out there. I'm going to assume that there isn't. But I'm also going to assume that there's nasties and I only have 20 ammo. So technically two shots, because it uses 10 at a time. Which is just so silly. Like... I don't understand the design choice there. Let's just say it uses 10. No, uh, why don't you just say that I, uh, I don't have 10. It uses the single shot. I, I don't understand why 10. Uh, you didn't have to know everything by, everything by a multiple of 10. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure if... Um, those creatures are up here? I'm going to assume they are. Alright, ah, more tokens. Just what I wanted. How many do I have? Uh, 19. My math is bad. I'm guessing that might be wrong, but 19, I'm going to assume. 8. Anything else? Uh, no, nope, can't go that way. Ah. Won't be too long until this game's done as well. So, uh, I need to consider what I was will be doing for the next one. Um... I did say that it was most likely going to be Metroid Prime, but since then I may have had other ideas. Not entirely sure what it is, um, so I'm going to put a cross, uh, a pin in Metroid Prime for now, I'm going to put a pin in it. Uh, it definitely will be done, but it might be something else that I decide to do. Who knows at this point. And as for live streams, in case people are wondering where they've been, because I said I was going to do some, but I haven't actually got around to it yet, I am still going to do them. Don't panic, they are still going to be a thing. Um, if you do want to watch the live streams, uh, go to twitch.tv forward slash magmajor. I'm going to assume that's the address. I have had a, a one or two people already head over there and follow it, so thank you very much if you've done that. Uh, I will still do them. I've just currently been working through a lot of PC-related stuff with... Um, okay, now I have 12 shots. I've been working through a lot of PC stuff with Meatball lately, so I'm trying to get a, a program called Parsec working so that we can do videos together, because you can't always make it to mine for us to do videos. So... Working through that and trying to separate audio is it, really time consuming. So yeah, I haven't really had a chance to set up uh, stream labs or whatever it is called, stream elements, to uh, do any streaming. But I definitely want to do it. Um, I will be streaming Minecraft, in case I haven't mentioned that, my brain tells me I have. But, okay, I'm streaming Minecraft, it's going to be a mod pack called Roguelike Adventures in Dungeons can find that on the uh, Twitch app for your PC, under mods, provided your own Minecraft PC version, you should be able to play it. Okay, 
This part's important. like that because that's the kind of an annoying thing to do. There were things up the top that I still need. Oh, I can still go back up. Okay, cool. So yeah, I do need to go through that portal, but not just yet. Eh. Uh, let me just slay everything in here. Oh. Come on, bear. There you go. Will you please calm your beak? Okay, I'm gonna end up dead before I even get up there. Rufus, you are a doofus. Uh, 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 there, no. Okay, let's not. Okay, let's not. Alright. Oh, will you leave me be? Oh, rockets come flying in from every direction. He ab uh, Vigo absolutely has this place uh, guarded well. Yeah. See ya. All right. Let's head back up. Oh, great. Of course. Of course. Now I know that these are a thing, I definitely want to get these. Okay, 10 tokens remain, so I'm going to assume they're not here. I don't think there'll be 10 tokens in this section alone. Might be wrong, but I, it just doesn't seem likely. So there's probably further out, uh, back into the main Temple of Doom itself. Temple of Doom? No, Gloom. Doom's not this, this temple. That's copyright. Alright. So seven tokens. There is still down here. Maybe the down here. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> now I'm in the water. I'm just thinking, yeah, maybe they're not here. Yeah, I don't see any. This is probably just in case you fell. Water will keep you safe, like in Minecraft. Very much like in Minecraft. So. What have people got planned today then? On this finest days of Halloween? Personally for me, uh, nothing. I never really do anything for Halloween. Uh, so, it's not that I don't enjoy Halloween. I do, but a lot of it usually involves things like horror movies or horror games. And I'm not a huge fan of either. It's weird. It's hard to explain. I just, I'm just not really a huge fan. Like, I tend to emotionally put myself in the same situation as the character in those settings, so I suffer the same trauma, and it's not something I enjoy because of that. Even though I know it's fiction and stuff like that, it's still hard not to go through it with the character. Like, the other day, um, I watched... Uh, sorry, well, the other day, the other week, I watched the uh, animated uh, movie of Dead Space. And even that scared the living hell out of me. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, so it won't be seven tokens. It will be how many? I'm going to assume they're probably in the sweeping wilds. Oh, wait, no. Ooh. Two tokens probably are in the sweeping wilds then. So two tokens, not that bad, I guess. Considering, considering that he's a nutcase who just jumped straight for his wife. I mean, I can understand it, bless him. Yeah. Alright. I don't think he continues onwards that way. No. So, we are left with one final choice. I'm also, I actually notice I haven't actually discovered those chameleons that we heard. Probably the tokens are with them. So the final choice is to go through the portal. Now this portal leads to the best level for me. Opinionated, uh, yeah, opinionated opinion. I'm talking shit, let's go through. Nothing. 
Not bad. Onwards. And this is my favorite level. And I still have low health. Now, because it didn't actually tell you what it was called, I will tell you right now. Here. Game info. There you go. This place is known as the bad place. Basically, it's literally hell. And it's so good. And if I remember rightly, there's only one baby left. Yes, baby rescued. 123 out of 124. One final baby in this level. And the good thing about it, you can't miss it. It's a, it's the one that was in Winnie's, Winnie's arms. So you cannot miss that baby. And of course, all, babe, all bears look like demons or skeletons or some kind of horrifying creature. Because they're undead. Undead. And I absolutely love this. So we're going to complete this entire thing today. So you'll notice that the episode is probably uh, quite a bit longer than normal. So uh, apologies if... Um, Sorry, I was just just replying to someone on a message thing. Right, so uh, apologies if that's kind of confused you, but yay, okay. So, I, I don't know, I think that could be a new weapon. I think it could be, I can't remember. So, if so, yeah, that looks like it's a new weapon. So, uh, this is how far in the game you have to go to get a new weapon. And honestly, it's not worth it. That weapon isn't that great either. Oh, I'm so trying not to get motion sick while I spin on this thing. It is so easy to fall and die. And that... Yeah, there we go. Taser. So there's the new weapon. So I will show you it in action. Uh, there is one... So it just... It, it just chews through ammo and it just electrifies people. So that's what your taser does. And you probably would have guessed. Uh, and as I said a long time ago, the game gets weird. The further I go into it now. Starting with this level, really, I guess. These guys just appear all the time. They're like the, they're like the fleas in flea levels. They, they will just continuously appear. These ones won't. Uh. Ah! Oh, there's food in there. Nice. Up. Oh. Grab this before it's too late. And that. I hear you, but I don't see hey, you. Whoa. All right. How am I expected to concentrate on tormenting this bear with these imps hammering nails into my head? I'm not entirely sure how you get rid of the imps. I'll come back to him. I can't really remember too much about this area. I, uh, I only remember most of what happens halfway through the level. All will become clear when I get there. But currently we are in hell, like I said. So, oh yeah, you gotta activate those. I remember now. And I believe you can just shoot them to activate them. Yeah. No. Oh, so many skeletal bears. Are we done? Yeah. No. No. All right. Let me shoot that thing before I uh, forget. Where was it? Oh, there it is. Think you have to. Hmm. Do I have to light it with fire? Is that what I have to do? No. I don't know. But I know I have to activate these somehow. Oh, 
like that. <laughs> okay, you do shoot them, and I did almost get torch there. Uh, okay, I don't think we go this way yet. But these giant Quamchi uh, skulls, yeah. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, no room at the inn. <laughs> uh, but those uh, skeletons are. Um, you basically have to walk under them. Also, all of the tokens in this level, they're also impossible to miss. So this level, you will leave with all the tokens and babies. It's guaranteed. Basically. Uh, I don't actually know what's over there. Not enough to concern myself with. Correct answer. Um, let's continue onwards. Starting to think I might need to go through those crunchy skull things. Quamchi, quamchi, not crunchy. What am I saying? Say it correctly. Uh, I'm sometimes I'm happy that the button sticks on this controller because it means I kill everything quicker. All right. Oh, they want me to use bombs. Eh. No bombs today. Maybe actually bombs are, are a good thing for uh, those those things. Let's. Let's put a bomb in it. Yeah, bombs are good for those. Okay. That's why they're telling you to use bombs. So, uh, basically, we like those, and the imps come and just fly around in the fire. So, I'm guessing they will stop hammering nails into that person's head. I don't even know what you can really call him. Whoa! See ya. I'm lost. I am officially lost. Uh, everybody gets bullets to the head. Ah. Alright, I know where this is leading. Okay, we, do, we actually don't need to be here just yet. Unless there's a... Unless there's a, a, a brazier, or brazier, however you pronounce it, but brazier. Yes, there's a brazier I need to light over there. Alright, so I need, I do need to come here. Uh. So. We'll just do that anyway. There we are. I don't know if that's all of them. I think I do need to go through the crunchy skulls next. That door is... So awesome. Uh, I think he, the guy gives you the key for it, but it's the door to nowhere. I believe that's even what the game calls it. It's the door to nowhere. Uh, that door is... Oh boy. It, it, that's where most of my favourite part of this level comes from. Be, uh, what's beyond that door. It's just so fun. Right, let's go back to where those skulls are and see if there's another... Brazier to light there. Alright. Now, as you can imagine, you can die. You can get squashed. So you gotta be careful. Crunch, 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 go. Alright, so there's another one. Crunch. Crunch. Is that just constant? Open, close. Close, open. Yeah. Now. When it does that, you can die. Crushing is a very big thing that you can receive from these things, and I've had it happen a few times when playing. So timing is everything. Oh, I think this is the last one. I hope this is the last one. <laughs> Should be the correct way of saying that. Uh, anything this way? No. Now, if you know that you've noticed that there's probably a supreme lack of tokens, for people to change into, baby, wherever that is. So yeah, it's not. 
not the greatest thing right now. I don't... No, I don't actually... I don't think you have to go through the same way you came in. You probably do. You probably do. Knowing this game. So I'd have to time it even worse. Uh, 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 okay. In we go. Go. Alright. Chomp. 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 Go. Alright. Whew. That was tense. Okay, so let's go back to the guy that was getting nails in hammered into his head and see if we solved his problem. Alright, here we are. At last, I know you're looking for that dog and the little puppy. Well, they lie beyond the door to nowhere. Now, if you don't mind, I've got eight more souls to get through today, and I won't get my beating unless I finish them. Yeah, I'm with you on that, Rufus. That's a bit weird. Right, let's go to the door to nowhere. Put you key in the door and walk through. So, uh, that kind of odd thing to say, but that's half the level done. We don't have a single token to our name, and we don't have a baby either. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, wrong way. Do not want to go that way again, damn. So let's head to the door. All right, here we are. So, key in the door. Ooh. Is this some kind of joke? Really? Actually, no, it's like Doctor Who. <laughs> Bet you weren't expecting that. Unless, of course, you've played this game a thousand times and you know what's happening. So, yeah, giant ass long corridor. Oh, boy. I did say this game gets weird. Oh, and it only gets weirder from now on. Uh, this is my favorite part of the, this level. It's so good. So let's just run to this elevator and, and, and get out of here. Eh! Die! Elevator time! Okay, so uh, you had to do that to open that door, um, but uh, that's I'm guessing a, a scene, like a horror scene. It's supposed to be like blood pouring out, but considering fur fighters don't bleed, it was just all teddy stuffing, which is cool. Okay, so um, I don't know if you've ever seen this movie, uh, I think it's the second Bill and Ted movie. This gives me huge vibes for that. Huge vibes for Bill and Ted's movie. So, um, each every time you go through one of the doors, a challenge unlocks. Now that challenge is that f that fur fighter's own personal hell, what they would consider to be their own personal hell. And it's really interesting to see what specific fur fighters consider to be their own personal hell. So let's see what Tweaks is. Yes, he is an egg. Die. Oh! Uh. No! Okay, so... Uh, oh, they just constantly respawn. Let's just go. 
All right, so according according to this, if I can actually get anywhere, according to this, his his own personal hell would be falling out of his nest. So yeah, you basically just need to make your way up to the nest and get your ass back in it. Eh. Uh, uh, uh. I think it's cute though, is him, him being a little egg. That is adorable. So I'm, I'm going to assume this is a, like a top a mountain somewhere. Oh, I'm being chased by those. Let's get back in that nest. There you go. That's that challenge done. And that door is shut. Now we've got to just go and search this entire hotel corridors for the next one. And it's Bungalow. Bungalow's personal hell. So let's see what Bungalow would consider his own personal hell. <laughs> oh, fudge. Nope. Ah! I forgot about those things. So this is where all the tokens are. And the way you leave this place, you have to get all the tokens. So all 100 are in this very, very room, and that's part of the challenge. You, you just have to kind of ignore the mobs. Yes, I know I missed one back there. You have to kind of ignore them. You can deal with the shooty ones if you want, like the bears. But most of the things respawn. Most of them. So, it is kind of annoying to have to deal with everything like that, but... Yay! But yeah, you don't you don't leave this room until you've got all the tokens, so... Oh boy! And I'm being absolutely wasted right now. Good job I have one of those! And tokens heal when you pick them up. I missed one. Oh god, that didn't kill you. They are irritating. They are so irritating. Alright, let's grab this. Uh, this brown stuff makes you super slow. As well. So his personal hell, by the looks of it, is just being lost in some marshes, I guess. Trapped with all these weird creatures. Out of, out of everyone's, I'd say Chang's is the worst. Okay, so need more tokens. Oh, for the love of Jesus. Go, go, do not eat me, do not eat me. Gosh. Uh. It, it is nightmarish to deal with these things. Like, like I said, you could shoot them. But they just respawn, so there is really no point. Ugh. Okay, so I've been up there, done all that. Um, just keep going around. Go away! No. No, I refuse. It's the shooty ones that kind of bug me the most. Because they can get you from a distance, so... These guys are just really, really, really slow, these skeletal... Skeletal crocodiles are really slow, so usually you don't get hit by it. I think this is the last. This, this could be the last section. Ow. Might be wrong. No. <gasps> I don't know where that is. Please be nearby. I uh, don't see it. I don't see it. Where are you? Oh, leave me alone. Oh, not want to be there. You do not want to be there. Where is that door? Because you don't get any healing. You do not get any healing. Oh, there's the door. Over there. Oh, no. 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 And if you die, you have to do this entire section again. No! <laughs> oh, no. No, you don't. No, you don't. It's because I, uh, I got a checkpoint technically when I got the... Uh, when I got the last token. Cool. Cool. So, uh, yeah, let's just run. And hope to God I don't die again. Uh, uh, go, 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 go. Bink. Okay, that 
It's Bungalow's turn. <sighs> the deafening silence. Wow. But yeah, this is... This is why I love this. It's so cool. Like, as a kid, I did not expect this kind of awesomeness. It just blew my brains. Clear now. Okay. Thank you. So, whose is this? I know one of them's just weird. Okay, this is Chang's. This is, my, in my opinion, the worst one. Alright, it's pure white, so I apologize if I'm blinding you. Basically, I'm in a, I'm in a maze, an entirely invisible maze, as you can see when I'm shooting the walls. It, the, the walls are invisible, I'm completely white, the, everything is white, just everything. And I can't obviously exit the way I just came in. So I need to find a way out of this place. Uh, shooting the walls is pretty much the only thing I remember doing to get out. Okay, so there's... Hammer. Whoa, okay, so someone sees from me. Ouch, they hurt. Okay, so we can go this way. Ugh. I apologize if you're watching this late at night and... This is blinding you because it's just pure white. Uh, I, I, I totally, totally feel you there. Oh, okay, so we can go up. Alright, so we're on the next level. I mean, in terms of difficulty, this is not the hardest. But it's certainly a challenge. Mentally. Okay, we'll go through here. best way of killing you is with a sh shotgun. No, you don't. I think we're home free now. I think we are. Yeah, okay, so we've done that. Woo! So glad that that didn't last too long for you. But yeah, that is the worst because it just ruins your retinas. <laughs> um, I don't remember Juliet's. Oh, we still, we get the we get the same scene play out with every fur fighter as you approach, I think. Yes, you do. There you go. But there's no food in that one. Well, that's annoying. So you can't actually go in that lift. I don't think you ever go in that lift. I, I, I'm probably wrong, but I don't think you do. I don't remember. And I guess if I don't remember it, then you don't. Because I remember this, this uh, part of the game really well. Alright, so who's next? <laughs> I remember this part of the game really well. Who's next? Yeah, yeah, I know. I believe we still have um, Juliet, we still have Rufus, and we still have uh, Rico. Now, there is a door. I will find it, but there is a door that has a... Okay, it's not Juliet then. There's a door that has a rocket on it. Now, if you open that door, I do believe it unlocks a cheat. Okay, so we're doing Rico. Oh, great. Now, this one's going to take a while. So his personal hell is being in a city with tanks. And bears. Okay, I remember. I remember what happened. Uh, those tanks will shoot shoot at you uh, if you go near them. I think I'm actually supposed to do that to open those. Yeah. Okay. So open the way. Yeah. So this this could be kind of difficult. And you may have noticed that Rico is completely butt naked. You can see his little butt shaking there. So demonetized as it's too hot for YouTube. <laughs> uh, don't want to see a little penguin butt wobbling as he runs. Bless him. West Side Bears. Yeah. This reminds me of a street that I have in my hometown. 
you basically walk down it and left both on the left wall and the right wall is just graffiti tags and art and everything literally like this <laughs> it's kind of funny it reminds me of New York okay ah okay another one of those now you can't you can't actually miss anything in this section so you might not have, you might see that I didn't go to certain places but we already have all the tokens so I, I'm not going to actually miss anything you don't unlock anything new you just need to get to the end so don't worry about just rushing through which is why I'm doing it oh I forgot they exploded and released those Release the hounds! <laughs> uh. Go, go, go. Right. Okay, that's more of them behind me. I think I'm not too far from the end of his level. Juliet's is the weirdest one by far. Oh, there's the exit. No! Oh, so close. So close. Okay, here's one you definitely have to do again. Just run. No, don't like you. Don't care for you. Oh, how did that not shoot the fence? Come here. Shoot this fence. Shoot the fence! Do the thing! Why am I shooting those away? Just fire bullets everywhere until we get that friggin' fence. Alright, here, here, here. Yes! Yes! Go! Hey! No one said you could shoot me. Hey! Hey! I'm definitely going back for that health after what just happened. All right. So we don't chew through the bullets as much. Switch to the submachine gun instead of the heavy. No. No, please, no. Or I could just run up to them and shoot them with a shotgun. Sounds like more fun. Because they're getting ammunition for this, so... <sighs> I also noticed that the episode's gone on for a fair amount of time. And I don't know how long it is until... Where was this one? Oh, this one was here. And I've just basically unlocked a hornet's nest. And wasted my ammo on that. Ah! Uh, whoa! Yeah, probably going to die again. This is the only one that is really difficult. Because they're constantly being shot. And there's no healing. Could you please... Shoot the down fence! Thank you! Ooh, food! Need that. He don't need his head. Alright, maybe I use these. Because <laughs> it causes everything to run. Run! And you! Yeah, seems to be a good idea. Or if I just use the one bomb so I save ammo. And it has a longer fuse time. So I can run past it. Alright. Go away! Oh, that could happen. Oh, that could happen. Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> okay, so I will meet you when I get back there. Alright, last section, people. I've been basically using science to save the day. Science is always the answer. Uh, okay, so I should be able to make it here easily enough now. Just left. Right, left, right, and we did it! We did it! Okay, 
Let's find that one that has, let's find the door that has the rocket on it. I don't think it's an actual challenge. I think you just have to open the door. All right. No, no. That's what I thought. Bear. Oh, that was bungalow. Bear, bear. Rocket. There we go. This one never opens. You have to open it yourself. Eh, yes. So I think, yeah, there you go. Cheat discovered. Now, I would show you what the cheat is, but the cheats um, don't work on my save for some weird reason. I, I've, I've never understood why. Uh, they just stop working after a period of time. So I would I would show you, but as I said, I just I just can't. So it's it's kind of annoying. So what we're looking for now is uh, Juliet's door. Uh, she has the weirdest one. What I will do is. Eh, what I will do is once we've done Juliet's, um, we will call the episode there and do Rufus's next episode uh, because we can also do the boss of this uh, world too. Ah, that's a door. Nice. Okay, give me this. I'm going to need all this. So Juliet's personal hell is a living nightmare for me too. It's all your fur flyers companion at a crazy tea party. And they're all pretty much like those rabbits. Ah! <laughs> all right, round two. Try again. Oh, I was stuck in the fire then. That was fun. Right, hop up here. Because there's health. And they're all bosses. Which is why they which is why it takes a while to kill them all. Ah oh, boy. Scatter! I think that's one of them dead. Yeah, that's one of them dead. Uh we have. Okay, Tweak's down, Rico's down. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh boy. However, they weren't actually the Fur Fighters. They were indeed rabbits, just imitating the Fur Fighters. And there's the last door. Okay, so this will be Rufus's door. So we will call the episode in here. I've got hiccups for some reason, and it's irritating. Sergeant Rufus reporting for duty, sir. And his personal hell is war. Yeah. It's it's kind of awesome, but also kind of scary. Basically, there are uh, there are tanks that are going around, and I have to stop them. Um, yeah, that's fun. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have an amazing Halloween today. Remember, be safe if you have young'uns, or you are a young'un. Be safe, be careful, don't do anything stupid. And if you feel like you don't like the candy, send it my way. So, thank you all very much for watching. I have been Sausage, and this has been Fur Fighters. Take care, and goodbye. Bye.